Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is a series of interviews that we are doing with toppers of FET 2022 at Repranit Learning. Today we've got with us Dr. Deepika. Hello, Dr. Deepika. She secured a wonderful mm -hmm. rank 23 in the 2022 FET. Uh, let's discuss with her her strategy to prepare for the for the exam. Uh, let's hear where he, she's done her UG and PG from. So many congratulations, Dr. Deepika, on this wonderful result. And uh, uh, over to you. Let's start with your small introduction and then discuss yes. your strategy. Yes, ma'am. First of all, I want to thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for your guidance. Uh, I have just read your notes and your, I've seen just your videos and I've got this rank just because of you. Uh, that um, is, uh, I, I feel very grateful uh, for you, uh, you know, to be able to tell uh, um, in this video, in this uh, interview, and that it was because of me. Thank you so much for that. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I've done my... Uh, Apart from that, what was your effort? Today, we'll discuss your effort because the, the students, uh, it's very important for the students. Each and every interview is seen by many students. Uh, this helps them prepare for the interview. So let's discuss your strategy. Uh, tell me, where did you do your UG and PG from? Ma'am, I have done my UG from Alana Zad Medical College and uh, post-graduation from UCMS and GCB Hospital Delhi. Okay. Ma'am, I'm... I have passed out in 2019. Uh, after that, I did my senior residency in Subdarjang Hospital for one and a half years, after which I moved to Jaipur after my marriage. Oh. And um, uh, in Jaipur, I, have, I joined as a, assistant professor in NIMS Hospital. Uh, I'm actually, I was interested in uh, laparoscopic surgeries and uh, surgeries. So I was not planning to uh, give uh, FET exam. Okay. So, ma'am, I uh, learned uh, open surgeries and laparoscopic surgeries over there. Uh, then, yes. ma'am, uh, some thought was there in my mind that OBS and gynae is no more a terminal branch. We have to do some fellowship and super speciality. Yes. So, uh, ma'am, in December only I left the job. Earlier I was not able to study because of the working hours. and um, So, ma'am, I left in December. And I started preparing around 10th of December. I decided to prepare for FET. Okay. And so my preparation. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. And before that, you were reading anything or it was just till PG exam? Actually, ma'am, uh, in post graduation, I read uh, all the important topics from big books and oh. made notes of them. But after that, ma'am, uh, sometimes I, I like to read. So sometimes I used to study some guidelines, but not a, not but in a regular reading before yes, December 2020. Yes, ma'am. Like yeah. during uh, management of a patient, I okay. used to see some guidelines. Casual reading. That, yes, ma'am. Not a particular reading oh. for FET exam or any exam. So suddenly in December, you decided that you will quit everything <laughs> and you will sit for two months and prepare for the yes, exam. Ma okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I saw your videos. Yes, ma'am. When did you join Repranit Learning? Ma'am, actually, I took your course earlier also, but I didn't study uh, at that time. So I took a crash course on uh, 13th of December. Okay. Then only I started studying, ma'am. Okay. So how many hours would you read every day in these last two actually, months? Actually, ma'am, uh, in last two months, it was only studies. I used to wake up okay. and, okay. <laughs> and you would start reading. Yes, and then you yes. would... Before sleeping, you would close everything. Yes, ma'am. So just like we prepared for PG exams. Yes, ma'am. After our internship break. So wonderful. Uh, you had decided and you only had two months. So uh, yes. this is an example that even in two months preparation, students can manage to get very good ranks. So uh, tell me, what else did you do? Did you touch any books in these two months or it was... No, ma'am. Actually, there was no time. Uh, actually, yes. I watched your videos. Then I read your notes, ma'am. I did your notes around three to four times. Three times okay. I read Those all the notes. Only. Yes, ma'am. Uh, three times I've read all the notes. And uh, once I gave uh, last fourth re revision, I give, gave to those topics which I thought I would, uh, uh, I won't remember during the exam. Before these two months, you had never seriously opened the app. Uh, yeah, no, ma'am. Never made any notes. It was just No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. So that's commendable. You know, it's difficult, those notes. It took me two years to prepare those notes and then your students you <laughs> Mama, I have two you. months, three revisions in two months. So, uh, that's a Herculean task. Uh, wonderful. So you would just read in the last. Uh, before that, after your post-graduation, were you touched in with reading? Uh, you were reading actively or you were not? 
Ma'am, after post graduation, no, ma'am. You I, were not. It was not. These two only months. Sometimes only sometimes. Only I uh, I used to see some. Yes. Did you Did you take any other exams like NEET, SS, INISS? No, ma'am. This was the first exam I have okay. given. So this was the first exam and two months of preparation, and you've got a wonderful rank. Congratulations on that. Uh, ma'am, tell me about the exam. Okay. Uh, how did you find the exam? Was it very difficult, or was it uh, you know something you were expecting? Actually, ma'am, it was a PG level exam. And due okay. to the uh, three four years I have passed out, that's why I thought uh, if I have given it before after, I mean before this, so yes. that would just be better. Your PG, then yes, it would be easier. Just, for you. Yes, ma'am. Easier. Yes, ma'am. Otherwise, paper was not very tough. Not very tough. Uh, if you found FET not very tough, NEET SS was even you know probably below PG level if FET was PG level. This was actually a standard paper. Standard questions were there. NEET SS was very basic. Uh, it was difficult to know where the questions have come from. Uh, so what was your strategy in the exam? How many questions did you attempt? Was there a plan before well, in your mind? Mom, actually, many... uh, I attempted ninety-seven questions. Oh, okay. Mama, you, uh, all those question in which I could rule out two options, I attempted them. This rule, this general rule, is there that if you know about the question, if you can rule out two options, you should mark the question. Yes, uh, wonderful. Yeah. So, for those students who are going to be preparing for the next exam, uh, the next exam FET probably should be in the nine, the next nine to twelve months. Uh, what would you suggest if they've got one um, year? In first thing is reading your notes and uh, getting thorough with them. Then only they should uh, go to some other book like Sakshi Aroda or other books if they want to read. But first is your notes and your videos. If they are thorough with them, they can crack the exam. Uh, that's wonderful. And it is um, overwhelming to uh, you know repeatedly listen to this from students. I'm very uh, a little proud of myself and very proud of all of you that you uh, came here. And I've got the right bunch of students who give me such good results every year. And I think uh, a lot of MAMC students and a lot of students from Delhi. Are joining most of the toppers that I've been interviewing are from Delhi or from South India. So uh, it was it is so nice to know people like you to be mentoring these people uh, like you without even you know last two months I think only now we contacted or you had messaged me on yes. your also. Ma'am, I just get, uh, I mailed for the videos for third party reproduction and that. Uh, Okay. Two notes were there, and but videos were not there. That's Some, why I uh, uh, queries and all you must have sent. Yes, because sir. Yes, sir. I, I remember the name, uh, your name when I you sent me the result. I have a idea that this student has already contacted me before. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So it was so nice having you here, uh, Dr. Deepika. We'll stay Thank in you, touch. Uh, all the best for your counseling Thank and you. after the counseling also we'll stay in touch like now I'm contacting the past years past batch students to give you all an idea which colleges to choose so similarly next year also I'll come back to you and I'll 